Joining me now is Michael Metting, VP and General Manager at McEwen Copper. Nice to see you again. Thank you so much for having me, Mark. So let's uh, remind everybody about the, the Los Azules project in uh, Argentina, which is a very modern, very innovative. You've got your environmental permit now and yes. you're heading towards a feasibility study. Yeah, that's correct. So Los Azules is a project that is uh, amongst one of the top 10 uh, copper projects worldwide in terms of resource size. It's, um, it's probably number four or so uh, when you think about um, major copper projects not owned by a major. And what sets us apart is uh, that since the beginning, we are fo focusing on, um, on renewables, we're focusing on a regenerative mining design, we're focusing on minimizing environmental footprint, we're focusing on uh, having uh, low carbon emissions, uh, low energy and water use, and um, at the end, we want to be carbon neutral by 2038. So it's, it's really, the focus is to, uh, to change a little bit the paradigms in the mining industry and to be able to build something that is um, that's a jewel in the, in the Andes. Let's go through the, the timeline that you're planning. Uh, you, uh, the feasibility study uh, on track to be released uh, sometime in the first half of, of this year, uh, potential to start construction in 26 sometime. Uh, and then uh, we're also obviously curious about the possibility of, of an IPO. Your boss, Rob McEwen, has mentioned it before. Is there any sense of when that might be? Yeah, so um, I think it's, it's important to have the feasibility out. I think it's important to um, have the... Um, the, author, or the authorization or the approval of our project as part of the REGI, uh, the Large Infrastructure Investment Incentive Regime in Argentina, which uh, is very helpful for large international investments in the country. So I, I think it's important to have that out before we, we go into an IPO. So that means that if all goes well um, with the regulator, then it's probably, um, I would say, second half of the year for a potential IPO. Yeah. All right, great. So uh, you talked about uh, all the changes in Argentina and this investment program, uh, REGI as you call it, RIGI. Um, and so it, it's very pro-business, lots of measures that would benefit uh, McEwen Copper, correct? Yeah, so what, what, what are some of those? So um, one has to uh, remember that Argentina had a, um, a mining um, stability framework, the, the mining investment law, that was actually quite um, uh, quite helpful in, in building uh, some of the pro bigger projects in Argentina in the past. However, that, that hasn't been uh, all, all respected throughout the years. Um, and uh, President Millet put forward um, a project that addresses all those issues that were encountered. And basically it gives you 30 year tax stability it gives you the possibility to leave uh, export proceeds offshore. Uh, it lowers um, income tax rate for corporations from 35 to 25 percentage points. Uh, it lowers um, uh, tax on dividends from 7 to 3.5. It lowers uh, export duty from, for copper from either 4.5 or 0 to 8 sliding scale to 0. Yeah, um, it specifically allows for international arbitration yeah, against, um, against Argentina in case of non-compliance by the state. So it's a very comprehensive investment protection package. Now on the financing side, the, the company recently raised uh, $70 million. Half of that was taken up by Newton, owned by Rio Tinto, and they own, I think, about 17% of the shares, roughly, uh, at this point. So uh, tell us about the significance of that Newton uh, partnership. Yeah, so um, w so far we raised 56 of the, um, of the 70. Okay. But, um, uh, the thing is that um, Newton is important for us because, um, as I mentioned before, we aim for a low carbon, a low energy, a low water usage mine with a small environmental footprint. And um, Rio Tinto's Newton technology is copper heat bleaching of primary mineralization. So we, we have um, a cap of supergene that we are leaching in, in the PA, it was 27 years life of mine. And then in the PEA that we published in June 2023, um, Newton uh, would have added about 12 years life of mine um, at the time. And uh, production would go from about 4 million tons to about 6 million tons of copper. So it's, it's very relevant uh, technology. Um, the test results um, so far, they're, they're looking good. They're, they're cautiously optimistic on the, on the technology. 
And um, this is an exciting opportunity to continue uh, with the same production process without the need to build a concentrator. And a concentrator would require lots more water, lots more energy. You would um, be producing something that needs to be shipped outside of Argentina to be industrialized. Mm -hmm. It needs to go to a smelter. Okay. So with Newton, we can continue um, our path to produce copper cathodes. So cathodes, uh, meaning copper that is 99.99%, that can be directly used by the industry. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, lastly, so you've got this Newton partnership, you've got this uh, Los Azulas project that you're advancing. Uh, McEwen Copper is this hidden jewel within McEwen Mining, and a lot of investors out there are uh, looking forward to the IPO. So sum it up for us in terms of the, the investment case. Yeah, I think um, Los Azulas is a unique uh, investment opportunity. Um, it uh, will be very interesting to see how our IPO preparation uh, will be going forward. I think. Um, it's, uh, it's an investment case not only for the typical mining investor, but also for an investor that wants to support um, with good returns the energy transition to, um, to, to a brighter, um, more clearer, uh, less polluted future. Thank you, Michael. Thank you so much, Mark. All right, good to see you. Michael Metting, he is VP and GM at McEwen Copper.